can change your eyes. I see you the only time. Or something like that. Guys, I'm sorry. I can't get into this band. Guns N' Roses is one of those bands. Not only I couldn't never get into. Guns N' Roses are those band, is one of those bands I think. Okay, first of all, I just don't get why people would like them. And don't get me wrong, if you like them, go ahead. That's your choice. I just don't like them. But I'm going to give you reasons why I think they're more and overrated. First of all, first of all, the music itself, in my opinion, ain't really that great. All it is, is just, okay, let me ask you this question. I want you to put it down in the comments. What is the difference between the sounds of Guns N' Roses and the sounds of, like, Poison? Because when I listen to Poison and when I listen to Guns N' Roses, I hear no difference. Okay. Uh, that's my dog. Um, yeah. The same goes with when I listen to Guns N' Roses and I listen to Rat... I hear no difference. When I listen to Guns N' Roses and when I listen to, like, Aerosmith, who I also think is incredibly overrated, I hear no difference. Secondly, what is up with this macho attitude? Okay, first of all, I think... A lot of people say the grunge has killed rock and roll nowadays. That's pop word to say. And it could be biased because grunge is one of my favorite all-time to-go genres. But come on, people. I'm pretty sure the whole macho... Yeah, rock and roll. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that killed rock and roll to a lot of people. You want to know why? Because it was a swimming in it. It was really a swimming narrative. <laughs> it was saying only tough guys can listen to this music. And it killed Rocky and Roll for a lot of people. First of all, and here's the biggest reason I don't like them. Um, the biggest reason, they're not really talented songwriters. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you necessarily have to be an intelligent songwriter. I mean, my favorite of all time songwriter is Kurt Cobain. I mean, is he an intelligent songwriter? He is in many ways, but he's not like... He uses a lot of metaphors in his songs and all that stuff. Guns N' Roses... When I hear him, hear the hear actual woes, I can't sand, sing... All I ever hear is this guy trying to be tough, you know, full of hormones and, like, toxic mass and winery trying to sing in the microphone. That's all I hear, guy. Welcome to the jungle. I got phony games. That's all I hear, people. It's his, it's, I mean, okay, let's talk about the lyrics. The lyrics is the most... You're going to call me an SJW and I don't care. The lyrics is the most sexist, almost homophobic crap I ever heard. Racist, too. Because if you remember, Ashley Woe said the N-word once in one of the songs. And no, I am sick and tired of saying, it was taken out of context. He said what he meant. Be honest. He said what he meant. Why would he say that? Say that next to Crash, who's a half white, half black. Even Crash himself said he went a little too far. I'm sorry. I just don't get why anyone would like this band outside of maybe people who were actually there at the time. And I think that's the only why people like this band, right? They were born, you know, they, they were born in this era of tough guys. And these tough guys would tell their kids about it, right? 
and their kids will grow up to be tough guys. Yeah, guns and roses rule. Right? That's pretty much what happened, people, and I can't stand it. Bye.